Mitch Blash, a name synonymous with resilience, mechanical genius, and unparalleled dedication, has become more than just a crew member on Discovery Channel's Gold Rush, he has emerged as a beacon of hope and reliability in the unpredictable world of gold mining. Serving under Parker Schnabel, one of the most astute minds in the mining industry, Mitch has carved out a niche for himself, showcasing an array of skills that not only speak to his mechanical prowess but also hint at a potential untapped horizon, leading his own mining venture. At 34, Mitch's journey through the trenches of gold mining has been nothing short of remarkable. His quick thinking, problem-solving acumen, and ability to handle high-pressure situations have made him indispensable. Parker Schnabel, a mining wunderkind in his own right, likely acknowledges the rarity of Mitch's talents, making every effort to retain him within his crew. But as Mitch continues to display a level of expertise and reliability that many in the industry can only aspire to, speculation abounds regarding his future. The question on many fans' minds is simple yet complex, why hasn't Mitch Blash considered venturing out on his own? On platforms like Reddit, discussions unravel, painting a picture of a community torn. Some argue Mitch has all it takes to succeed independently, while others caution against the myriad challenges of starting from scratch in the high-stakes world of mining. Yet, for those who have followed his journey, it seems Mitch's contentment lies not in the title or the autonomy of running his own operation, but in the sheer joy of the craft. Mitch thrives on the front line, solving problems, and making tangible contributions. This intrinsic motivation, coupled with a substantial compensation that affords him a lifestyle many envy, complete with high-end race cars and a classic muscle car, suggests a level of satisfaction with his current role. Observing Mitch's interactions, it's evident that he places a high value on teamwork and the collective success of the operation. His ability to collaborate, to rise together with his colleagues through thick and thin, stands as a testament to his character and professional ethos. It's these qualities that likely make him invaluable to Parker, who understands the importance of not just retaining talent, but nurturing it. While the allure of potentially higher earnings and the independence of running his own venture might seem tempting to some, for Mitch, the decision to stay or go is likely influenced by more than just financial considerations. The complexities of starting an independent operation, from securing investment and managing logistics to the relentless uncertainty of the mining process, are daunting. In a world where the success of a mining operation hinges on a delicate balance of skill, luck, and teamwork, Mitch Blaschk stands as a pillar of dependability and expertise. Whether his future sees him venturing into the realms of independent mining or continuing to be a key player in Parker Schnabel's team, one thing remains certain, Mitch's impact on the world of gold mining, his dedication to his craft, and his unparalleled skill set, ensure that his legacy will be felt for years to come. As Gold Rush continues to captivate audiences around the globe, the saga of Mitch Blaschk serves as a compelling narrative of dedication, skill, and the ever-persistent question of what if? Will Mitch Blaschk ever take the plunge into mining for himself? Only time will tell. But regardless of the path he chooses, his journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of those who dare to dream and do in the rugged terrains of gold mining. Mitch Blaschk stands as a testament to skill and determination in the unforgiving world of gold mining. A key figure in Parker Schnabel's team, Blaschk's journey from Todd Hoffman's mechanic in Season 3 to a cornerstone of Schnabel's operations since Season 5 encapsulates a narrative of growth, resilience, and the inevitable human propensity for error. While Blaschk has consistently demonstrated his ability to navigate the challenges of the trade, offering wise counsel and mechanical expertise, his path has not been without missteps that shed light on the precarious balance between risk and reward in the quest for gold. Season 10 of Discovery Channel's Gold Rush presented such a scenario, underscoring the relentless race against time faced by miners. The season was marked by significant hurdles, notably Parker Schnabel's crew grappling with limited timeframes due to an inability to secure all necessary excavation permits. This constraint put the team under immense pressure to extract as much gold as possible within a constrained period, significantly heightening the risk of rushed and potentially hazardous decisions. A critical moment captured. Mitch Blaschk, in a bid to expedite operations, orchestrated a precarious maneuver involving the transportation of a plant up a hill using a tractor. 
The operation required precision and caution, as any misstep threatened to plunge the machinery into a pond below, endangering both the equipment and the crew. Blasch's decision to enlist heavy machine operator Brennan Ruwalt for this risky task through a narrow pathway underscored a moment of fraught decision-making, where the urgency to mine gold quickly overshadowed the imperative of safety. This incident, while a testament to Blasch's commitment to achieving the team's objectives, also serves as a poignant reminder of the critical need for judicious planning and risk assessment in mining operations. The pressure to maximize productivity, especially under tight deadlines, can sometimes lead to choices that place crew members and equipment in jeopardy. Such scenarios underscore the importance of balancing the drive for efficiency with the paramount concern for safety. In the rough-and-tumble world of gold mining, as showcased in Discovery Channel's hit series Gold Rush, moments of unfiltered honesty and raw emotion often pierce through the din of machinery and the endless pursuit of fortune. Among the series' most beloved figures is Mitch Blaschke, Parker Schnabel's right-hand man, whose dedication, mechanical genius, and moments of imperfection make him a relatable and cherished fan favorite. However, even amidst a series replete with high stakes and intense drama, there exists a particular Mitch moment that had viewers everywhere hitting the pause button, their minds reeling with a mixture of surprise and disbelief. Early in season 11, an episode unfolded that encapsulated the very essence of reality TV's unpredictable nature. The scene begins with a visibly frustrated Mitch, after a grueling day of managing the team's efforts to move dirt, a fundamental task in mining that, on this occasion, wasn't performed quickly enough to ensure profitability. Seeking a solution, Mitch approaches Parker's makeshift office with a plea for more manpower. The backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic adds a layer of complexity to this request, as labor shortages, particularly of skilled workers, plague industries worldwide, including their gold mining operation. Mitch's insistence that experience wasn't necessary, that he was willing to take on the task of training any new recruits Parker could find, set the stage for a sequence of events that would become one of the most talked-about moments of the season. Enter Tatiana, a new and inexperienced worker whose minor collision with another vehicle on-site led to an interaction with Mitch that viewers would not soon forget. His subsequent comment to the camera, expressing relief at the new addition to the team but lamenting the absence of resumes and the difficulties it posed, struck a chord with fans. This juxtaposition of Mitch's earlier willingness to train new hires against his later statement created a moment rich with irony and confusion, prompting many to rewind and replay the scene, questioning if they had indeed heard correctly. This incident sparked considerable conversation among the Gold Rush community, particularly on Reddit, where fans dissected the seemingly contradictory statements. The revelation that Mitch's comment might have been a product of frankenbiting, a common reality TV editing technique where disparate clips are stitched together to create a new, often more dramatic narrative, provided some context. This practice, highlighted by the New York Post, suggests that the moment may have been more about manufacturing drama than capturing genuine sentiment. Nevertheless, this pauseworthy incident offered a glimpse into the complexities of reality TV storytelling, where the line between reality and drama is often blurred. It also underscored the challenges faced by gold mining teams, where the need for manpower can lead to compromises and unexpected outcomes. For Mitch Blaschke, this moment, whether fully genuine or partially manufactured, highlighted his commitment to the team's success, his flexibility in the face of unforeseen challenges, and the inherent drama of seeking fortune under the most arduous conditions. As Gold Rush continues to captivate audiences with its blend of adventure, drama, and the relentless human spirit, moments like these serve as poignant reminders of the show's ability to connect with viewers through the genuine emotions and complex situations of its cast members. Mitch Blaschke's unforgettable moment in season 11 remains a testament to the unpredictable journey of gold mining and the enduring appeal of those who brave its challenges.